Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, let us solve question number one. Uh, in our previous lecture, we have learned two methods to evaluate a line integral. The first method was if the cow is given in the parametric form, then we can use the following formula to evaluate the line integral. I is equal to integration of a function f of z dz along a curve c is equal to integration of the function f of r of t into r dash of t dt where r of t is the parametric form of the curve. We also know that a parametric form for a unit circle whose center is at the origin is given by R of t is equal to e power iota t, where t is between 0 and 2 pi. Now, from R of t, we can find r dash of t by differentiating both sides, we can get this is e power iota t into iota. Now, we know that in this question, f of z is equal to ln z. From here, we can obtain f of r of t which is equal to ln of e power iota t. But this is equal to iota t ln e. Because we know that log m power n is equal to n log m. And we also know that log e is equal to 1. So f of r of t is equal to iota t. And now let us use these values in our formula. Let us say this is formula number 1. So equation 1 implies that i is equal to integration, which is from 0 to 2 pi f of r of t, which is iota t, into r dash of t, which is iota e power iota t dt. Now, iota into iota is iota square, which is equal to minus 1. So we can write that this is equal to minus integration is from 0 to 2 pi t into e power iota t dt. Here we use integration by parts. So this is first function and e power iota t is second function. So we can write first function the integration of the second function e power iota t divided by iota where limits are from 0 to 2 pi minus big integration differentiation of the first which is 1 integration of the second which is again e power iota t divided by iota into dt and now let us evaluate this thing so we can get, by putting the limits, we can get 2 pi e power 2 pi iota divided by iota. And if we put 0, we will get 0. Now, uh, one more iota will go outside of the integration. And integrating e power iota t, gives us e power 
iota t divided by iota and limits are from 0 to 2 pi and let us evaluate this thing so we can see this is equal to minus 2 pi divided by iota and here we use the Euler formula according to that formula we can write that e power 2 pi iota is equal to cos 2 pi plus iota sine 2 pi and here iota into iota this is iota square which is minus 1 so minus minus will be plus we can write plus here and now let us put the limits so if I put 2 pi I will get e power 2 pi iota and if I put 0 e power 0 is equal to 1. Let us simplify this thing we get minus 2 pi divided by iota now cos 2 pi is equal to 1 but sine 2 pi is 0 so we can write plus and again here we can use the Euler formula and according to that formula it is equal to cos 2 pi plus iota sine 2 pi minus 1 and now let us simplify this so we can get minus 2 pi divided by iota and plus again cos 2 pi is 1 sine 2 pi is 0 and this is minus 1 so you can see minus 1 will cancel with the plus 1 so we can get minus 2 pi divided by iota let us divide and multiply this by iota so iota into iota is minus 1 and we can get that this is equal to 2 pi iota and that is the required solution that is all to solve question number two we use the same procedure as that of question number one so the formula to evaluate a line integral is given by integration of the function f of z dz is equal to f of r of t into r dash of t dt and let us say this is equation number one the parametric form for a unit circle centered at zero is given by r of t is equal to e power iota t where t is between zero and 2 pi if we differentiate this we get r dash of t is equal to e power iota t into iota from the given question we can see that f of z is equal to log of 2z and from here we can get that f of r of t is equal to ln 2 into e power iota t but this can be written as ln 2 plus ln e power iota t because we know that log of m cross n is equal to log m plus log n and from here we can see that this is log 2 plus iota t ln e but ln e is equal to 1 
So we have ln2 plus iota t. And now let us use these values in equation number one. So we have i is equal to integration is from zero to two pi f of r of t, which is ln2 plus iota t into our dash of t, which is iota e power iota t dt. And this can be written as integration from zero to two pi ln two into iota e power iota t dt plus integration is from zero to two pi iota t into iota e power iota t dt. And this can be written as log two and iota, these are constant. So we can say iota ln two integration is from zero to two pi e power iota t dt. From here, iota into iota, this one is the uh, minus one. So we can write minus integration from zero to two pi t e power iota t dt. Or in other words, let us say this is plus iota into iota is iota square, but we have solved this integration in question number one. And the solution for this part was two pi iota. So you can see the solution of this part in question number one, which is the same, two pi iota. So let us solve this part only. So this can be written as this is equal to iota ln2 and let us integrate e power iota t. So its integration is e power iota t divided by iota. Limits are from zero to two pi and plus two pi iota. Now let us use these limits. We can get this iota will cancel with this iota. So we don't need this iota. This we have ln2 only. ln2 and we can write e power two pi iota plus, uh, okay, or minus one, because e power zero is one, plus two pi iota. And now if we simplify this, after simplification, we can write that this is ln two. And from here, we can use the Euler formula. According to the Euler formula, we can write cos two pi plus iota sine two pi minus one and plus two pi iota and let us simplify this. Log two cos two pi, the value of cos two pi is one, the value of sine two pi is zero, and this is minus one, plus two pi iota. Minus one into minus one, this is zero. So zero multiply with anything is zero. So we can get that this is equal to two pi iota, and this is the now look at question number three. Using the same procedure, we can prove that the line integral of log 3z dz is equal to 2 pi iota. And we can also prove that the line integral of log 4z dz is equal to 2 pi iota and so on. So in general, look at question number four we can prove that 
the line integral of ln qz dz is equal to 2 pi iota where q is any uh, real number and c is a unit circle that's all